Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about bytecode, JVM and JRE which are available in Java. Before starting, if you are facing the visibility problem in this video, so you can improve the pixel quality by going into the settings of YouTube. So these are my information, you can uh, contact me or you can uh, use these information for your uh, study and placement purposes. Now coming on to the first uh, topic uh, that is Java bytecode. So as you have studied uh, C and C++ programming languages, uh, you might have uh, heard uh, the word object code in those languages. So that object code uh, we receive after the compilation process. So in Java, whenever we compile uh, any source code, then the compiled code will be received in terms of bytecode. So the programmer uses the command java c to compile a java program uh, which you can write like this java c then name of uh, java file and then extension of java dot java uh, then if the uh, program compiles the compiler produces a dot class file called welcome dot class that contains the compiled version of the program the java compiler translates the java source code into bytecodes uh, means dot class file so bytecodes are executed by the Java virtual machine. So you can say that bytecode is the compiled version of Java source code. Then if we want to execute Java bytecode, then we need Java virtual machine. Now a virtual machine is a software application that simulates a computer but hides the underlying operating system and hardware from the programs that interacts with the virtual machine. So bytecodes are platform independent instructions means we can implement a bytecode on any environment and we can run it on any other environment. So Java's bytecode are portable that is the same bytecode can execute on any platform containing a JVM that understands the version of Java in which the bytecodes were compiled. So this is all about bytecode. So in short you can say that when we compile any source code, the outcome will be bytecode and the extension of bytecode is dot class. Now another uh, uh, topic is virtual machine. So uh, it is known as Java virtual machine. In short, we can say JVM. So JVM is an abstract machine. It is a specification that provides runtime environment in which Java bytecode can be executed. So JVM is responsible for execution of Java bytecode. JVM are available for many hardware and software platforms. JVM which is Java virtual machine, JRE which is Java runtime environment and JDK which is Java development toolkit are platform dependent because configuration of each OS differs. But Java is platform independent. So you have to notice one thing. Uh, Java is platform independent. It means Java bytecode is platform independent, but JVM, JRE and JDK, these are platform dependent because these are some software which is already implemented. So these are OS dependent, but the bytecode is platform independent. So you have to remember these, uh, this difference because uh, this question sometime will be asked in your Viva and, uh, interviews. So you have to remember this difference. The Java virtual machine performs following main task uh, in which first is loads the code, verifies the code, executes the code and provide runtime environment for execution of bytecode. Now another uh, heading is JRE which stands for Java runtime environment. So Java runtime environment contains JVM, class libraries and other supporting files. So here you can see that JVM is the part of JRE. So JRE has uh, some library files which are already available and other supporting files which are already available with it. It does not contain any development tools such as compiler and debugger. Actually JVM runs the program and it uses the class libraries and other supporting files provided in JRE. So if you want to run any Java program, you need to have JRE installed in the system. So this is the prerequisite for your uh, system. So if you want to run any J Java program, then uh, you must ensure that JRE is available in your system. 
so i hope you might have understood about the byte code jvm and jre so uh, remember these things for your uh, placement purposes you can also uh, note down these information uh, thank you for watching this video